Hey y'all, it's your girl Kia Janae of Pretty V Vlogs and I'm here with another video. On this channel, we do all things glam, all things decor, shopping and more. I just wanted to jump on here real quick, start off today's vlog. But before I get into anything, you know, extra, I have a question. I've been noticing since yesterday, when I'm looking at other people's videos and I'm commenting, I'll go back just to like double check my comment make sure i spelled everything right sometimes you know whatever or sometimes when i'm watching the video as i'm watching the video i'm commenting so you'll see multiple comments i started noticing last night that my comments weren't showing up on videos i watched quite a few people's videos yesterday and of course i liked and then if i wanted to try to comment whether it was once twice three times or whatever when i went back and looked my comment wasn't there any of y'all experiencing that issue? What's going on with that? I Google to try to see like if maybe that might explain to me why my comments aren't showing up all of a sudden. And the only thing I really came across was it said that it could be something going on with um, YouTube where they automatically like, I guess, put your comment into the, the review section or like the spam section or whatever it's called. But I don't know it's just strange hopefully if it is an issue with youtube they fix that shit because yeah i left so many comments yesterday i watched several people's videos yesterday and okay yeah my like is there i see that i you know the thumbs up that stayed but my comments kept disappearing so a couple of the videos that I was watching last night, I went back on again and I watched again and I started looking at again and I still noticed my comments weren't there. So with all that being said, for the people whose videos who I did get a chance to, you know, look at last night and I was trying to comment on, if you see like duplicate comments from me, I don't know like if they're there but they just can't be seen yet and then they'll all of a sudden pop up at once. That's why. It's strange. Hopefully, whatever that is, YouTube here even fixed that because that's a little annoying. It ain't going to stop me from watching videos. I still go in and give a thumbs up. I still try to leave a comment. But if it don't populate, I don't know what that's about. Anybody else experiencing that? If you are, leave me a comment. Let me know if you know what's going on because it was just a little weird to me. But anyway, y'all, I'm at work and we don't have anything planned today yeah i do have a couple of things planned today so today when i get home depending on how tired i am i think i want to go ahead and get my bedroom cleaned up i want to change out my linens i need to wash my linens i think i might want to change out those um drapes i have that divide my room from like my closet area in my room i need to sweep i need to swiffer i need to wipe down surfaces um probably wipe down my walls too because i think it's been a minute since i wiped down my walls and i was supposed to yesterday go to um target to pick up my online order which was a plastic bin another plastic storage bin but i didn't get a chance to go past there so i'm gonna definitely do that today but i had also added to that order or i created a second order because i needed some when i got home last night i realized that i needed some more bleach and I need some more um, Tide detergent. And I did end up ordering me a juicer, y'all. That's going to be delivered. I've been wanting a juicer for a minute. And I was Googling again. And I had Googled like the top like juicers or the best juicers, best reviews. And I was looking on Target. Did I go on Best Buy? I don't remember. I know I was looking on Target. I looked on Wayfair and Amazon. I came across um, one on Target. That's where I ended up ordering it from. It was $89. I'll insert like a picture of it right here somewhere. But it was $89 and it was a Hamilton. Um, I think it's called like a Big Mouth. I'll insert the picture right here or the information or whatever. But it had really good reviews. And I think I'm going to start trying to juice also yesterday because you know yesterday they had like a was it like a prime lightning deal like special or whatever with amazon i did order a few things off of amazon i ordered um what was it 
like another one of those, you know, the racks, the self-adhesive racks that you can put in your shower. Now I have two which are white, but they're starting to rust out and I guess I could spray paint them. I think I may end up spray painting them again and just like covering them, you know, make, keeping them white. But I came across some gold ones and I've been feeling gold lately. It's a real pretty shade of gold from what I can see on the um, picture. And again, I'll insert a picture right here because when I receive all of the stuff, I'm going to do another video where I open it and show you everything. But I'll insert a picture in here of the things that I'm talking about. So I bought the, um, it's like a five piece like rack set. And it was like when that prime deal stuff. Um, so in addition to that, like I was saying from Target yesterday, I also got the juicer. Um, what else did I get from Amazon? Hold on a second. Let me look at my computer. Amazon. It's a shame when you can't remember what the freak you bought. Oh, okay, so oh nothing really, you know, big. Okay, so for the house, I did get the five piece set. I ordered my son's dog some of those uh milk bone like dog treats. I went on and I ordered some candy off of here for the office because they had a sale on that. The candy was normally like $9 a bag, you know, for like the Halloween candy, but they had some kind of like prime lightning deal special, which brought it down to like $6. So I was like, I can spend $6 for the office. I don't mind buying stuff for the office when it comes to candy and stuff, but I know when you put it out there, you got to put like a few pieces at a time. Cause if you literally put a bunch of candy out there, people just go run through it. It'd be gone in one day. So, and I also ended up getting some of those, um, they're non-adhesive under the sink, like spill mats. And these are supposedly, it says absorbent self, absorbent shelf liners, um, felt mats. You can use them for the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink, um, protect cabinets and your dressers. They, that was on like a lightning deal too. Those were normally, I think like $10, $9.99. They had them on sale for $3 a piece. So I got two. I plan on putting one in my kitchen underneath of that sink and one in my bathroom underneath of that sink. And you can cut these too. So that's what I liked and they had good reviews. So those are the few things I, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I ain't finished. My husband don't know yet cause I ain't tell him. I kind of been hinting around to the fact that I was going to get one. But I've been kind of, you know, searching and looking at reviews to see which one I really want. So I'm still looking at my computer, y'all. And like I said, I'm going to insert a picture of the, the things that I'm talking about right here. I ended up coming across a beverage refrigerator on Wayfair. They had some kind of like sale going on too yesterday. Child. Let me pull my uh, little card up, whatever. My little orders, my little orders. So, it holds 140 cans. Come on, Wayfair. It's a 3.35 cubic feet freestanding beverage refrigerator. The measurements are 32.5 inches in height, 18.1 inches in depth, and 18.9 inches in width. It came in black or like the, what is it? Um, sterling silver, not sterling, is it sterling? Not sterling silver. You know what I'm trying to say, the silver color, the silver edge. Uh, let me read some of these specifications to y'all right quick. Okay, so it has an interior light. It has an adjustable temperature control. The minimum temperature, it goes down as low as 38 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum temperature, it goes as high as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. It has leveling legs. Um, Built-in shelving is included. Adjustable shelves. The door is reversible, so I can open it from either side, I guess, depending on... I don't know how that works, but it says the door is reversible. As far as the operation, it says it's quiet, so it doesn't make a lot of noise, which is good. Because if it sound anything like the that damn ice maker, that, that thing is like loud as hell. Let's see. It's rust resistant, plug-in. Oh, it has a digital display screen. I didn't see this when I ordered it. It says digital display screen. 
Let me just turn y'all around and I'm gonna let y'all see some of these features. Oh, and it automatically comes with, I guess, a limited warranty. I didn't get another warranty added onto it. I think they offered it. I don't remember how much it was, but it's supposedly normally $349. It was 40% off. So it brought it down to $210.93. So I felt like I got a really good deal. It's like a five star, has 38 reviews on it. Let me turn y'all around so y'all can see. Okay, so this is the refrigerator I'm talking about that I got. I just think she is so, so cute. I love her, I love her, I love her. You see, it's 210. It was regularly 349. Like I was saying, it was 40% off. Here, I guess if I was ordered today, it would be here by Monday, but I ordered it yesterday. So mine should actually be here Sunday. And here are some of the specifications I was talking about. So you have your measurements, the weight, um, and then just some other like little information down here about it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to get her. And so the beverage fridge, I already planned out where I wanna put her. At first I was gonna put her in my guest um, room, but that room is small and I have enough stuff in there. So I'm gonna actually, I thought about it, I'm gonna put her in my kitchen. I'm gonna probably rearrange a few things, see if I like it that way. But if it don't work out that way, I'm gonna probably put it over there where my um, water cooler fountain thing is. And I'm gonna move that over next to the end of my counter where my kitchen door is. So yeah, I have a couple of little thoughts, little options in mind. <coughs> So yeah, got this. Didn't tell hubby I purchased it yet, but I have been hitting around that I want one. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get one. You know, I want one and I'm gonna put whenever we buy waters and sodas and stuff like that. That's what she's gonna be used for. So that way it's less traffic in and out of my refrigerator. So it'll just be a matter of keeping her stocked because when it comes to water, especially, I buy like three of those cases to four of those cases of water from BJ's at a time. And you know, with those, you get like 40 bottles and it's the bigger bottles, not the mini water bottles, but the bigger bottles. I'll buy anywhere from normally like around 120 because four, eight, 12, if I get three cases, 40 each, that's 120 bottles of water. It seems like that don't even last a week in my house. It don't last a week. My son kills him, kills him, kills him. My husband too, but my son, like, it just be gone. It seems so, like, so quick. So, just have to be mindful to keep this full. Get me some canned sodas, some ginger ales. I did see something where it says that you could put wine in here. So, I'm gonna have to find back where I saw that. But I just thought that this was so nice. I really, really, really like like it. And I can't wait to get her. Hopefully she arrives and nothing's wrong. So I don't have to go through the back and forth for trying to send her back. But yeah, y'all. So those are the few things that I picked up. And once I get her, I'm going to show you, of course, you know, that's not going to be in this video. Because like I said, she won't be coming until Sunday. I think my juicer is not set to be delivered until I think Saturday. But I am going to the Target today to pick up my storage bin and my um, detergent and bleach and stuff. And when I get home, I am going to do the room. I'm going to try real hard. Just hold, I, I get home and I just be so tired, y'all. I just want to lay down and go to sleep. And don't let me get nothing to eat because I'm instantly just like out. And if I go to sleep, I don't end up waking up until like 9, 10 o'clock. Yeah, and I'm trying not to do that because that really like just throws my sleep off because whenever I do that, I end up waking up at like 10 o'clock and then I don't be ready to fall back to sleep until like 2 in the morning. And then with me getting up anywhere between 4 and 5 in the morning, I be like extra tired during the course of the day. So yeah, the goal is stop at Target today, get my uh, bedroom freshened up, bring you guys along for that. And hopefully it's not too crazy around here today. We do have a few clients coming in. Um, we're not coming in, but we have clients. So it's like we're still doing virtual. So um, shouldn't be too bad today. Yeah. So again, if I didn't say it, but if I did say it again, 
thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you need to go ahead and do that because you're gonna like it turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video and I'll call you guys back when I get to the target Hey y'all, just wanted to jump back on here real quick and show you my OOTD. This is a two-piece pants set that I picked up from Fashion Nova a little while ago. I just paired it up with my white and gold Nikes, my gold Michael Kors watch, and my gold stud Chanel dupe earrings. And underneath, because it's off the shoulder, I just added a white tank top. I will leave the link in the description just in case anyone is interested in purchasing it. y'all so i basically got everything cleared out of here i was just thinking about maybe rearranging the furniture but it's not too much i can do in here with this um futon couch being in here because it won't fit on this wall because the wall is too short it would end up blocking the closet and if i turn the bed this way it won't leave enough room on this side to get past and then the bed will end up being too far over this side. So, I'm going to leave this like it is. I'm going to get everything wiped down. I'm going to wipe down my walls. I'm going to sweep. I'm going to swiffer. Changing my bed sheets. What I took off, I'm going to wash. I think I want to go with white comforter. Maybe white sheets with like black accents. Maybe some tan i'm gonna go ahead and take these drapes down too and get these washed because i'm gonna put these back up so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so 
so these cloths right here are some cleaning cloths that I was turned on to by a friend of mine, Lindy. Shout out to Lindy once again. They are some of the best cleaning cloths that I have used. I got them off of Amazon and I'll put the information or the link in the description. But they are really, really good, especially when you're cleaning off glass or mirror surfaces. It's good on other surfaces too, but I find that they are really like the best for cleaning any type of glass or mirror surface.
with y'all. So I'm all finished cleaning my bedroom. And I basically kept the same colors in here, black, white, which I added a little more white this time, the beige and a little bit of red, a little pop or two of red. So I'm gonna turn you guys around, show you, let me know what you think. So this is how she's looking. Only thing I really, I guess, changed out are these plants right here. Instead of the tall grass ones, I have these. Changed around some of the decor. I added some white panels with the black and tan. Sorry for this lighting in here, guys. Kept the cat and the pumpkin and the lamp up there. I took away the vase. And... Just left the two black pillows on the couch. And over on the bed is where I added a little pop of red with the wine and the roses. Added in the gold pillow there. Just to bring a little more, you know, a little more accent of the gold to the room. And then I, of course, switched out the bedding. I did my white comforter this time. So yeah, this is how she's looking. And again, sorry for the lighting in here. It's a little dark. This ceiling fan up here. I actually need a certain type of bulb to go in here, which I'm all out of. It's a bulb that would be on the smaller side. I have big ones, but if I put a big one in here, it's gonna have this lampshade all tilted and twisted up, and it's just gonna be looking crazy. So we're just using the light over on the bookshelf there for now. But yeah. This is going to conclude this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Baby girl, you are so pretty, 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 pretty. Baby girl, you are so pretty, 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 pretty. Females made you just a tricky, 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 tricky. Cause baby girl, you are so easily pretty. The only reason that I can do tonight is cause I know you will fight. The only reason that this dress is can die. Thanks for watching.